we're a career-oriented institution. So our students enroll in our three-year master's degree because it takes three years to finish 48 credits when you're working, a working professional, um, that they don't think research is on their radar screen. And we try and in instill a research way of exploring their coursework in, in everything, but when we're able to bring them a tool such as cutting edge technology and ask them now to understand it, explore it, then in essence sometimes they don't realize that they are learning how to use research. The students gain uh, a number of benefits by working within a, a laboratory environment. They foremost get to understand practically what are the limits of knowledge when you're actually collecting it. What it is it like to reason as a scientist? What is it like to understand the logic of experimental design? The experience with actually working, collecting data, the procedural knowledge. So all those things go into benefits uh, for the students. Throughout my career I've had a lot of students go through my laboratory. We've had undergraduate students, I've even had high school students. It's exciting to have young people and uh, I had this great idea when I was a young person, and a lot of people discouraged me from that, but it turned out to be a, a very important idea. So um, you have to listen to young people. Sometimes they come up with uh, some brilliant uh, new insight. Before coming to NYIT, I studied the strategic plans of the school, and I realized that there are so many plans that are aligned with my future and with my goals. So that's one of the main reasons I decided to join NYIT. NYIT REU site um, is a research experience for undergraduates. We are recruiting 10 undergraduate students all over the country to uh, have them over here in our Manhattan campus to do research with our faculty mentors. The objective for this is uh, we wanted to encourage more undergraduate students to involve in research, especially in the cybersecurity area, with focusing on mobile devices and wireless network. We're in the age of evidence-based medicine, which means we need to have research data that supports what you're doing with patients. And for students to actually get involved with planning and um, performing a research project and maybe being involved even writing the paper and, and presenting it at a meeting or a poster session. Uh, it is, it's a very interesting experience for them. I think it's a unique opportunity for the students to get involved and put into practice what they are learning in the class. The amazing thing about technology is that I don't think we know where it's going to go. And I think right now it's imagine create it and try it.